Hello boys and girls, my name is Vivian and I'm going to read you The Christmas Story. Our story begins in Old Nazareth, when a young maiden, Mary, was to marry Joseph. But one day the angel Gabriel appeared, saying to Mary, There's nothing to be feared. You have been chosen to bear God's son. His name will be Jesus. He will save everyone. The angel with Mary. Mary was worried. What would Joseph say if she was with child on their wedding day? But Gabriel gave Joseph the wondrous news that she bore God's son, the king of the Jews. So Mary and Joseph were happily married and awaited the child that sweet Mary carried. That's Joseph as a carpenter in his workshop and the donkey. Then one day a messenger came to declare they should go to their birthplace to pay taxes there. Mary rode her donkey while Joseph led them on the long winding road toward Bethlehem. They journeyed on all day until night, when finally Bethlehem came into sight. And there's Mary on the donkey and Joseph, and they're heading on to Bethlehem. Can you say Bethlehem? Say Bethlehem. Bethlehem. As they enter the town, it soon became clear that they needed to rest, for the baby was near. But wherever they went, they were told the same thing. Sorry, we're full. There's no room at the inn. I have a small stable, one innkeeper said. It's warm and it's dry with clean straw for a bed. So that very night, before break of dawn, the animals watched as Jesus was born. They all rejoiced as they saw where he lay, God's only son in a manger of hay. Amazing. God's only son in a manger of hay, yes. They did not know that the baby was so small would one day grow up to save us all. Yes, Jesus is our savior. High over the hills on that joyous night, some shepherds were roused by a dazzling light. Do not be afraid, an angel said. I've come with good tidings God wants you to spread. Born on this night is a baby boy who will bring peace on earth, goodwill, and joy. When darkness returned and the shepherds were able, they left their sheep flocks and went to the stable. They knelt before Jesus and began to sing, Praise be to God for our Savior, the King. Then they told Mary all they had heard before they departed to spread the good word. So the shepherds came to visit baby Jesus. In a land to the east, over hills afar, three wise men saw a bright new star. The wise men knew that the star foretold the birth of a king for it was written of old. And so they journeyed night after night, following the star that shone so bright. Wow. So the angels and the star. Wow. Amazing. At last they arrived in Jerusalem town, where King Herod sat on the throne in his crown. They asked him, have you seen the new Jewish king? We follow the star in search of him. Herod was angry for he was no fool. He knew that a new king would threaten his rule. He said, when you find the king of the Jews, return by my palace to pass on the news. So bearing rich gifts, they went on to find the little Lord Jesus so gentle and kind. Kneeling before him, they started to sing, with these precious gifts, 
we praise the new king. But that silent night, as the wise men dreamed, God told them that Herod was not what he seemed. King Herod is filled with jealousy, and he means to have Jesus killed heartlessly. So listen well to this warning, I say, and journey home by another way. Then an angel appeared to Joseph one night to tell him his family should also take flight. Hark, said the angel, pack up and flee to the land of Egypt till God calls unto thee. So Jesus was saved to teach of God's glory, and that is the end of the first Christmas story. Wow, amazing story, but it's true. A nonfiction story. Beautiful, how God loves us, you, me, us, all of us, so much that he sent Jesus at Christmas time to be the savior of the world because of his great love for us. Now I'm going to sing Silent Night for you. Silent Night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and Merry Christmas.